Frustrated homeowners tell a judge the owner of a DeKalb tree cutting company left their yards a mess, then vanished with the money. Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis is here with his investigation into a company called Don's Tree Experts. Randy, what do you got? Hey, Danny, yeah, these customers admit that they made a big mistake. They paid money up front, some of them the entire amount, only to be left with an even more frightening backyard. This is not a yard. This, I should make money for the movies. The way my yard is looking. Disaster movies? Disaster movies, the real scary ones that I don't watch. So go ahead and call Patricia Callahan's backyard the Land of the Dead, or Nightmare on Plainsville Drive, or the Atlanta Chainsaw Massacre. All of it fits the bill. It's really scary right now. Um, I don't know what to do now. It wasn't supposed to look like this. In January, Patricia signed this contract with Don's Tree Experts. $2,000 up front to cut down two dying trees and haul away the debris. When the company only did half the job, Patricia tried calling owner Angela Hodges. According to the Better Business Bureau complaint Patricia would eventually file, Hodges always had the same excuse, truck and shop, or it has rained or is going to rain. She later sued but couldn't find Hodges to serve her. Months went by. The horror movie continued to play in more than one theater. Angela Hodges, I believe that how say it is a bunch of lies. Several other Don's Tree Experts customers filed their own lawsuits, including Patty Seymour. She told the court she and her husband gave Hodges two checks totaling $7,200. According to their lawsuit, Hodges left their yard a disaster too. The couple would win a $4,000 judgment. Just take a second, all right? Take a breath. In the middle of it all, Ms. Seymour's husband passed away. And it's hard to even find out where she lived. She had to go back to court alone in an attempt to collect. But Hodges also failed to show for this hearing as ordered by DeKalb Magistrate Judge Matthew McCoy, sending an attorney instead. She asked for a continuance because she hadn't been able to review the case with her client. The only reason you can't review it with your client is because your client's not here. The judge told the attorney he wanted Hodges to come back before him to face possible criminal contempt charges for failing to appear. That was in June. But instead of going to court, Hodges went on to run her company for the next three months. That is, until this week. The first case up would be Angela Hodges. Angela Hodges is now under arrest, facing criminal charges involving four other customers, including two felony charges of theft by taking and one felony count of theft by deception. Even though she was not one of those customers, Ms. Callahan showed up for the video conference hearing, satisfied with Hodges' costume change in her disaster movie. I was glad to see her in that. Judge Curtis Miller set bond at $5,000 and ordered Hodges to stay away from the tree business while the cases are pending. Does that make you feel better? No, because I don't trust them. Well, even when she bonds out, Hodges faces another arrest warrant in a different county. Keep in mind, there's another tree cutting company with a similar sounding name, Don's Tree Service. They've been in business for years in DeKalb County. Do not get them confused. Don's Tree Service has no connection at all with Don's Tree Experts, the company run by Angela Hodges, now under arrest, accused of stealing from her customers. And if there's something we've told people over and over again, and I've made the mistake myself, mm -hmm. don't pay up front the whole thing. Tree cutting is expensive. Yeah, even if the tree cutting company comes to you and says, hey, I can get you a better deal than these other guys if you pay me all the money up front, yeah. that's a dangerous proposition. You're taking a big risk. Yeah, don't do it. Don't. All right, thank you, Randy. Okay.